Hey everybody, welcome back to X-Plane 11 in VR. I am Bill, and today I'm going to try for the probably sixth time to fly in formation. I'm sitting here in the default 172, and God, this looks so awesome. Um, if you haven't already checked out my video on my first impressions of X-Plane 11 in VR, this is the beta. Um, X-Plane 11.2 um, is the, the beta number here. Um, check that out because, you know, I'll be kind of interacting with some of the things and may not necessarily be explaining it um, this time around. But, um, so in front of me, I've got a AI Stinson that I hope is about ready to, to take off. I've got, I've got it paused um, in the, the hand menu here. And I'm going to try to fly in formation with this in VR and, and see what that's what that's like. Um, I've gotten close a couple of times in some Twitch streams that I did, but it's a real pain in the butt. So I'm hopefully have it somewhat figured out to be able to to actually pull this off without having to um, you know kind of cheat with this guy. Um, so I'm just kind of in the run up area right now. I've got it paused. I'm going to make sure that he will actually take off. Um, a couple times I've tried this, the Stinson has actually crashed on takeoff and like totally spun around. So I'm hoping that he will in fact take off. Um, I tried to do it with the AI-172, but it was too fast. It was like I couldn't catch the plane. It was really frustrating. So... Um, Let's see what happens here. I genuinely don't know how this is going to go. This this guy could immediately crash and it will be really stupid. So let's unpause it. And if he... Oh, yeah, he's looking a little sketchy. And he did crash. <laughs> oh my god. That is the stupidest thing. I don't feel so bad for crashing myself on that thing a few times. Okay, what is he doing over there? I just need you to take off, little Stinson. Come on. Take off. As soon as he's up in the air, I'm gonna I'm gonna follow him. Nope, and he crashed again. That is great. See if there's any other any other planes in the area. So I have two two AI planes. Oh, there's the other one right there. Okay, so he's he's already in the air. Um, okay, we're gonna we're gonna cheat, do a little cheat, and get this guy closer to us. And this guy sucks. Move you over here. Okay. And then let's get this guy. So I ended up cheating anyway. Okay, so we he should be up in the air here somewhere. Okay, so let's Let's go. We'll, we'll find him here in a second. I'm really excited to try this because in, in 2D, just on a monitor, it's really hard to, to kind of judge where you are in relation to something while looking at your instruments. So I'm kind of hoping that this is much easier to do. Okay, and we are up. Okay, so now that I'm up, I'm gonna leave my leave my flight stick and go two touch controllers. Grab the yoke, and we're good. Okay, and let's head west and try to intercept 
this Stinson, which should be going much slower than us. God, this looks real in the, the uh, shadows on the cockpit. Unbelievable. Okay, so the only thing I don't know is what his altitude is. So I'm going to keep it full power and start climbing in case this guy's got some altitude on me here. such a bizarre sensation. So, if, um, again, I want to thank Newegg for the, the Oculus to be able to try it out and, and make a few of these videos. Um, I've had a few friends over to give this a shot, and every single person that's put this on absolutely freaks out. Um, the X-Plane experience is interesting and the, the more that I've tried it and been flying um, the more I've been getting used to it but it takes getting used to oh, I, I, I can see the, the flashing lights we're getting we're gaining on them the first few times you do this you will get motion sickness um, it is very disorienting and when you're looking out the window um, and your brain is 100% convinced that you're in this plane, um, your body is just sitting in a chair in your house. And the, that disconnect will make your stomach turn. And until you get used to it, you will get woozy. And it is, um, it's, it's very bizarre. But once you get used to it, it's, it really isn't that bad, um, but it does take some getting used to. It's a little bit, um, uh, it's not as bad on the bigger planes. The smaller planes, like the, the Cessna seems to be the worst for the motion sickness, I think, because it's, you know, a little bit more maneuverable. Like this right now, like my stomach is <laughs> freaking out right now doing that. Um, in the 737, in the Twin Otter, in the Beach Baron, it's not as bad because you're not moving around as much. Um, but I, this plane is a lot more fun to fly because it's simpler, so there's a lot more things that you can uh, interact with. So we are slowly gaining on this guy. A little bit slower than we would like. We are gaining on him. Oh, and he's making a hard turn south. So let's try to intercept him here. This should make it a little bit easier. Um, so for those of you that have not tried VR, um, the pixel size is pretty big. So the, the further away things are, the less clear they become, and text is very hard to read. The GPS, like I, I know what the things say just because I know what the buttons are, but I can't, if I didn't know, I could not read what those buttons are from just this far away. So the resolution, at least on this first gen, you know, the Oculus uh, Vive products, it's going to be really hard to actually read text until you get up like, really close, and you're going to be able to start making out what they say. Um, and in this application, not being able to read what some of these numbers are in the GPS is is not ideal. Um, 
the next gen, like the HTC Vive Pro, I think it's called, um, is going to have a 1440 um, per eye, I think. I could be wrong on that. Um, but the resolution should be much better and make reading things like text a lot easier to do. So that will be really nice to have. Um, but so in this case, that Stinson that I'm chasing is only a handful of pixels large. So each flash of the those uh, marker lights are only a couple of pixels big. So it's it's really hard to make out. But looking out the window, I mean, this ortho scenery, it looks insanely real and insanely good from up here. And especially with the lower resolution, because it's not as crisp anyway, it makes scenery, especially the ortho scenery, look, frankly, better. Okay. We're getting close. Definitely gaining on them. I'm still climbing just a little bit, about 200 feet per minute. You can see there. So that's slowing us down a little bit, not too much. I'm going to come in on his right side. I want to be able to look right up to my left. Using this is really easy. So you just point your um, controller at it, you hold down the trigger to be able to move it, and then you go up and down on the the stick to zoom in and out. It's really nice. Okay, I'm getting even closer now. Let's start getting ready. I'm gonna need to pull the power back. I'm going to go right by him here. This is cool. That looks amazing. Yeah, to be able to like glance at the instruments without moving my head is so nice. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god, this is this is really cool. I'm just gonna get locked right on him here. We can do we can get a little bit closer. Thousand feet. Hey, buddy. Oh, this is so cool. Come back, come back, come back. This is as close as you'd probably want to be in real life, but let's let's tuck up even closer. kind of cool that he actually is moving around. This makes it a little bit trickier. Of 
course, who had been on the radio, and he would have told me what he was doing. If we were actually flying a formation. Man, I, it's really hard to describe this, you guys. It is so unbelievably cool and realistic. Um, I, I can't, this, this would not be nearly as fun in 2D. I mean, this, in, in three dimensions, one, I don't know if you'd really be able to do this as accurately in, in 2D on a monitor. Like right now, I've I've got the the throttle, which I can actually I'm getting like tactile feedback with when I when I'm interacting with it. I'm locked in on him, and I can just glance over at my instruments. I can see airspeed, I can see altitude, I can see everything um, just by moving my eyes. I don't have to move my head at all. So. What you guys are probably seeing is the the screen is not moving at all, but because it's filling up almost my entire um, vision, I can glance down. So now I'm looking at airspeed, now back at him, altitude, back at him, heading, back at him, without moving my head. So I'm not doing, I'm not having to do that, you know, with the mouse. I can just stay right on him. Okay, let's... Whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm not off him. I'm just going to try to go up and under him, but... Oh boy, okay. Where'd he go? So he's at 3,000, so I'm not going to... There he is, okay. Now that's a little scary. Losing sight of him like that. All right, let's see if I can get him. I don't, I don't like him being on the right side. I feel like that's going to be a little bit tougher to, to keep him in view. So let's get him on my left wing. One ten. I think he's doing about one ten. Maybe he's doing exactly one ten. Okay, let's get right up next to him here. I'm getting too too close to my table. 
Yeah, that's I'm touching my table right there at my desk. So I got to figure out where my orientation is at. Let's get over here. There, that's good. Okay. Back. Okay. And on pause. You can't do that in real aviation. That would be nice though. That is so cool, my shadow on him. This is amazing. Okay, let's, let's see if I can get him over my right wing now. There he is. Whoa, a little turbulent there. Where's he going? I wonder if he sees me and he's like freaking out. But we actually might be coming into land. Whoa, that's a little, that's a little s stomach knot there. Yep, yeah, he's coming in. He's coming into land. He's lining up for the airport right now. So right when I get him over my over my nose, let's see if we can Blue Angel style land this thing together. <laughs> I'm like right above him. So actually, let's pause this and see exactly where he is. Oh, that is that is nauseating being up here. Ugh. Yeah, this is really making me sick. Okay, there he is. Super dizzy. That looks really freaking cool. Really freaking cool. Okay, let's go back into the cockpit here. And let's unpause it. Where you at, buddy? Hear him. Where you at, buddy? Okay, I'm still way faster. Get that on the light. I can't actually see where he's at.
Did it cut off? Yep, it cut off. Okay, I need to reorient myself here. Sorry. Okay. And he is way behind us. Whoa, okay. Got a little little gnarly there. Let's do some S's and get let him catch up here. It's Chambers Bay. That's a steep turn. Yeah, I think he's coming into the moon. This is a bad idea, but let's just let's see how it goes. Too slow for us. We need some more flaps, we need some more flaps. I'm gonna stall. I want to see if I can get a cool shot of this. And yes, I did. Yes, I did get a cool freaking shot at this. Good God, that's awesome. A little bit further away. Too bad those green yolks are in there, but that's okay. And I can't get full flaps. See if I can do it on the like seriously that is the coolest look at that you freaking kidding me oh my god I love that I freaking love that okay let's get back in there Yeah, we might have we might have broken it actually oh don't break on me look at that okay there we go there we go 
we're back, we're back. And there is a kind of a minor crash. Okay, there's the full flaps. There's full flaps. God, this is messy. Okay, there he is. I really want to land at the same time. Yep, I got you, Stolhorn. I got you. I got you, buddy. But this Stinson is apparently the slowest plane on the planet. Yep, I hear ya. I hear ya. We're going 45. Oh god. Oh, that's annoying. I, I hope that's not too loud for you guys. I am dragging this thing in. I've just got it doing a freaking prop stand right now. That's a crash. Okay. <laughs> that was a... We both crashed. <laughs> oh no! Ooh! Ooh, that's not good. That is... That is not good. I... I'm in heaven. Look at that. I crashed and now I'm in heaven. Well, that's probably a fitting place to end it. I almost just put my controllers on the Steam Deck, which doesn't exist. So, oh man. Okay, well, thanks everybody for um, hanging out with me while I did that. Hopefully, it wasn't too nauseating for you. Um, I love this. I absolutely love it. I'm going to keep doing more. So, let me know what you think of. The presentation, if it's really annoying that, um, you know, the black bars are on the side, um, I'll try to rectify that. Um, but yeah, it's super fun. So thanks for joining me, and hopefully I'll be able to do a, a little bit more successful formation flight in the very near future. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.